Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Living Heaven on Earth. I'm so excited about this show today because I wanted to talk about one of my favorite subjects. And I've been getting a lot of questions from uh, the people that I work with, the people that I coach, the people that I mentor about making a, a show about this topic because this is um, there's so many questions about what is it like what is it really like to live an ascended life what is it really like to be thriving in the new earth what is 5d what does it mean to live in the 5d what does it mean 3d what is that what does it mean to be the empowered feminine, uh, in unity, self-realized with yourself? What does it mean to be the empowered masculine, self-realized, in unity with yourself? What does that mean and what does that look like and how is that, how is that lived? And um, so I wanted to bring this show out today. So not only am I hosting but I'm also a guest on my own show answering the questions. And so I'm excited because I thought about, okay, uh, different different um, things that I can share with you and tell you uh, in hopes that it will inspire you and give you um, insight and um, wisdom and understanding that, okay, well, if this is this is kind of like what's happening to me, and then you you have a greater understanding that it's really all part of the plan. It's really all part of the plan, and that's that's one of the things that I wanted to address today. Is what is the plan? What is what is this whole thing about? What is this whole thing about that that we're doing here? Uh, what is living heaven on earth? And so, um, first thing I thought about is. I, w- I made a, a prop. So for those of you that are with me live on Facebook, yay. And for those of you that are listening and, and, and are not able to see, so I'm holding up a spiral. Uh, so a spiral that kind of looks like, that looks like this. So it's a spiral. Uh, just visualize a spiral if um, you're not with me. But um, so here's the spiral. And this is kind of like... Um, the spiral of evolution. And so if we think about um, where we are right now in our humanity and where we've been for the last 26,000 years on on this planet in our awakening, uh, in our evolution, we have been living a cycle in our spiral of evolution living everything that we are not, everything that we're not. 26,000 years, we as humanity have been living everything that we're not. And so part of the awakening and part of the ascension, and what is ascension, what is the evolution, now is a new paradigm, is a new cycle, is the new earth, to live and remember everything that we are, to live, to embody, and remember, and awaken, to live everything that we are. So that's the new beginning of this new cycle of our evolution. And so this is just now occurring. This is just now occurring. We're just now embodying uh, that blueprint, that um, 
those codes. We all have them within us. We, each and every single one of us has these uh, codes of awakening, the ascension codes. And um, so what is it that we can do right now in this cycle of our evolution to, to make it easier for ourselves? Because is, is living an ascended life, like what is ascension? Ascension, again, is rising up in consciousness. Well, rising up in consciousness, elevating your consciousness. So what is the 3D world? In the 3D world, in our third dimensional world that has been playing out for thousands and thousands of years, we have been living everything that we're not. And part of that has to do with war. It has to do with separation consciousness. It has to do with limited belief systems, everything that we're not. It has to do with illness. It has to do with disease. It has to do with core wounding. It has to do with fighting. It has to do with competition. It has to do with control and manipulation. And we, we see that playing out in our world today. And um, so what is 5D? So fifth dimensional consciousness it's again a dimension in consciousness that that is first reached through elevated thought and so then we rise up to that elevated um, state of perceiving a new a new way and there's so many uh, beings that are already living that state that consciousness state and um, in 5D, in fifth dimensional consciousness, there is no war, there is no separation, there is no um, fighting, there is no disease, there's only harmony. And so that's all part of our evolution now. That's all part of living heaven on earth. That's all part of uh, where each and every single one of us is moving into living heaven on earth according to each and every individual soul who is also now embodying their full fragmented parts that they've been living for thousands and thousands of years and now the soul is becoming fully realized, fully embodied. And so this is just such an exciting time and I wanted to um, answer some of these questions and we'll go through this a little bit more um, as we go into the show. But I want to talk um, a little bit about my sponsors here on the show and Living Heaven on Earth. And if you, you, if you, if you heard the introduction, this, this is a template and this is a model for us to ground in that energy, for us to show that, hey, this is what it's like. And I'm sharing my own journey and my own story and the people that I collaborate with and the people that I coach and the people that I support, uh, everybody that is in collaboration together with each other. This is how we're grounding in that new earth and uh, offering templates for other people to see and look at, okay, this is what it's like. And so some of my co-hosts and sponsors that I have here on the Living Heaven on Earth show uh, is, I want to tell you about Tom, Tom Lombrazo. And so Tom is on the first Friday of every month. And you can uh, listen to all of Tom's shows. Go to www.whenangelstouch.com and you're going to see uh, on his homepage, Tom has all of his past radio shows there. And it's amazing what Tom brings because he sees the world through the eyes of an angel. And there's so much joy in uh, being able to perceive the world, living heaven on earth, through the eyes of an angel. And so Tom shows us how to do that. He also wrote this incredible book with his wife, Caroline, that is absolutely loaded with beautiful images and high vibrational 
stories that him and his wife have captured in this incredible book that is now for sale on his website. And the book is for sale for $25. And I encourage everybody to get this book because it is a healing. As soon as you read this book and expose yourself to this book, it really assists you with being able to perceive the world through the eyes of an angel the way that Tom does. And so that's really powerful. And another thing that I wanted to say about him is the people that are writing in about the book, Tom's book, this is what they're they're saying about it. That if you're not a believer before about angels and that we're not alone, you will be now after reading this book. Another comment that came in, people are tired and they're searching and many are open to find new ways of love, peace, and unity. Thank you so much, Tom, for sharing your journey in this book. It made me smile. And where can I get three copies? Because I want to be able to hand out this book to other people. So, the Magic of Finding Love and Peace with Tom Lombrazo. And you can you can listen to Tom here on the first Friday of every single month. And Tom is also um, sharing some of his high vibrational paintings on his website, his book, and um, so much good information. So that's Tom. And then I have my other co-host, my other sponsor, which is Charlene Hess. And Charlene um, is a powerhouse. She has, um, I've worked with Charlene for a long time and she's taken my wholeness uh, certification coaching course and she's coached with me and she's also a self-realized being that is an uh, an influencer and a game changer on this planet she's helping a lot a lot of people and it's it's amazing what she does you can email charlene at living whole living whole at charlene has.com And you can also go to her website at charlenehess.com. She is offering everyone on the show practical ways that you can begin to connect with yourself in all ways. And so just email her at livinghole at charlenehess.com and you'll be able to um, uh, receive her free offering. She's on with Living Heaven on Earth. Uh, the third Friday of every single month and her incredible story and what she's doing to change the world with what she's offering is so inspiring. She's also offering people 30-minute free consultations. So if you're thinking about working with a coach, she would be one that you would want to work with because she gets to the root core and assisting you in stepping into your calling. So those are two people that I want to plug and thank you so much to my sponsors and thank you to, to you for tuning in. We're going to take a quick break on the Cornelia Stephanie show and we're going to be back when we're going to t- keep talking about uh, what's living heaven on earth like. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Living Heaven on Earth with the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, your host, and today I'm also your Ascension Guide. I want to talk about Ascension because it's something that I'm so passionate about, and um, it's something that I want to uh, inspire other people to embrace that part embrace your ascension, embrace um, being willing to discover the truth, embrace that part. Because again, um, this is what we're doing. We're ascending into a higher state of consciousness, and then we're going to live it out with our physical bodies. So, but first we have to let go of the old earth to then embody the new earth and everything happens with our physical bodies. And so that's a really big, important key piece for building your strong spiritual practice is realizing that it's your physical body that is the vessel that is embodying the new earth. You already have it in you. 
But the only thing that you are doing now is you are letting go of the old earth, the 26,000 year cycle of living everything that wasn't true so that you can embody the, the real self, the true self, and live and remember everything that you are. And the truth of everything that you are is you are an absolutely amazing, powerful, spiritual, divine being of the highest order. That's what living heaven on earth is about. And you're the one that's creating your own personal heaven through your own discovery in your own life. And that's why it's so important to move into uh, that quiet time, that deep inner discovery time, which is an absolute essential every single day to sit down and find out who am I? Who am I? What is it that I want? What is it that I don't want? What is it that's true for me? And am I living the life that I want to live? And so this, this last past week, I'll share with you later um, of some of the different people that I've coached and what some of the, the results were and what some of the questions were. But, but one of the things that has really been coming up lately is um, the old earth and the new earth. And so that people understand, okay, um, where we're letting go of the old earth and we're embodying a new state of consciousness uh, once we release and let go. So it's really pretty simple. And, and, and is it hard? Is it hard living heaven on earth? Is it hard ascending? Is it hard moving up into our higher vibrational way of, of living and being with our physical bodies? It is. It is hard. It's really hard. And it's really uncomfortable. And in the beginning, it depends on where you are in your in your stage of, of, of awakening. But in the beginning, it's hard because it's painful. And everything that you're that you're releasing and letting go of, you're releasing, letting go of through your relationships, through, through your relationships with work, through your relationships with your family, through your relationships with your partner, through your relationships with your kids. And it's all done through the emotional body, which is in the physical body. And the, the emotions are number one because we want to get to the place of our truth. And what's the truth? Is that we're free. We're free. We're healed. We are whole. We are already whole. Everything that's not that is now falling away. So I want to say the old earth. So here's um, for those of you that are listening I drew a stick figure of a, of a human, and so the stick figure is the old human. And inside the old human, there are energies of core wounds, of betrayal, abandonment, not worthy, not feeling good enough, separation, feeling separate from your creator, shame, Victim, feeling victim, or feeling like you want to save everyone. And this is also a core wound. It's the, the core wound of the victor-savior paradigm. And the core wound of survival. That's all part of the 26,000-year cycle. If you think about how long has betrayal uh, been playing out on this planet? How long has it been playing out? How long has abandonment been playing out on this planet and how long has not feeling good enough not being worthy not feeling worthy how long has that been playing out in the old human now remember that's the part that is now leaving this is the part that you're releasing and letting go of through emotional processing through working with the shadow through doing your inner work uh in Discovering your truth. So that's, that's part of the old. What, is, what does the new human look like? What does the new human look like? And again, we'll have a stick figure for the people that are not watching. Uh, so another person, a stick figure. And now what does that 
person look like? And so if we're looking at um, the opposite of betrayal, the opposite of betrayal is trust. The opposite of abandonment is feeling safe and secure. The opposite of victim, being a victim, is the empowered person that is taking charge of their life. The opposite of separation consciousness, feeling separate from your creator, because that's an illusion, it's not true, but that's what you're going to discover through doing this inner work, is unity, is, is unifying, unifying each and every part of yourself that has never ever felt the love of you, the love that you're bringing to yourself, each and every part back into wholeness. So the, this, is, this is all part of the new human. The new human is shining, shining the light. The new human is free. The new human is prosperous. And it's all happening within the physical body once the old earth is released out of that physical body. And it's the physical body. And that's why it's so important that your number one priority is taking good care of that vessel that houses your spirit. So if you're having... Um, physical challenges, health challenges or whatever, then that is an opportunity for you right now to perceive miracles, to perceive the miracles that we're all here to experience to, because this is what we're able to do now. We're able to uh, be the miracle workers that we came to be, that we came here to be. And so, um, you absolutely have the power within yourself to discover who you are and overcome these health challenges and move into a fifth dimensional uh, vibrational way of living and being where there is no disease, where there is no um, um, war, where, but it all happens on the inside. And so peace is an inside job. The world is an inside job. Living heaven on earth is an inside job. Everything starts on the inside. But we have to make the time every single day to sit down and be with our soul, to be with ourselves and listen to what it is that needs to be released, what it is that needs to be let go. So when I come back, we're going to come back, uh, we're going to take another quick break. And when we come back, I want to talk about what it looks like after you've released betrayal and abandonment and not feeling good enough out of your physical body. Because if you really think about it, um, not being good enough for what? It's, it's really absolutely ridiculous um, when, that we believed that we believe that we're not good enough to absolutely live an amazing, prosperous life as divine creators, as empowered beings living here on earth after transcending the old earth consciousness out of our physical bodies. We're good enough because what does it really mean to be good enough? It means that you have respect for you. You deem yourself worthy or not worthy. No one else has the power or the authority to deem yourself worthy, worthy because you already are, because that is the truth. Everything else is a lie. And the fact that people make decisions and choices and prevent themselves from living their best life, living heaven on earth, because they're not feeling good enough, it's not true. So because you're absolutely worthy of respect, but only you can embody and ground that in for yourself because I can sit here and tell you this all day long but part of the new earth is we each have to do it for ourselves because no one else can do it for us and so that's that's part of um, ascension and and up leveling everything and rising up in consciousness so that we can take our bodies our physical bodies into a higher vibrational way of living and being we'll be right back you're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show living heaven on earth thank you so much
Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm talking about Ascension today because it's just, um, there's just such a new uh, way that we are living now. And for me personally, it's been heightened, heightened, heightened communication in uh, showing up with um, everything in my life that I have to show up and communicate everything um, that's that's true for me in a way that's empowering me and also empowering the people that that I'm with and it's 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 just a, a wonderful way to be I want to talk about um, what happens when you work with me and Carter you have a clip that I want to share uh, if you wouldn't mind playing that audio right now that would be wonderful I have absolutely loved being friends with you and being coached by you and being mentored by you. It has been such an amazing experience. One of the biggest things that you've taught me, Cornelia, is about how to be the authority in my own life. And that was such a strange concept to me for so many years. And that's like, You've, I've finally come to the place where I am owning it. I am owning that I am the authority in my own life. And I, you know, years ago, you could have said that to me and I would have been shy or nervous and said, I don't know about that or that wouldn't be right for me. But just listening to you share that, I'm going, hell yeah, sign me up. I'm on. <laughs> so yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much. So much. Thank you. Thank you, Carter. This is a testimony that, um, that, that Charlene Hess, who is also a um, radio host and a sponsor, and it's someone that I've been coaching and mentoring um, for years into also her self-realization, into her uh, empowerment. Because part of what, what it is so important right now is that we discover our own authority. And that's part of that self-realization, that self-realized being that realizes that we're not separate from source and that we already have everything within us. And that's what happens when, um, when you work with me is that I assist you in creating that template that blueprint for yourself because you already have it but now you you are more courageous to um, activate that part within you and say yes and also receive the tools that you need in order to um, be able to release some of the um, old core woundings because a lot of the times what I find in working with people is that people are afraid they are afraid to take their power back they're afraid because it means that they they have to take on another greater level of responsibility. And in the old 26,000-year cycle, in the old movie, um, we've been victims. And we haven't had to take on that level of um, responsibility and that level of power and that level of authority. We've always given it away to somebody else. We've always been looking outside. Do you approve of me? Do you accept me? Do you love me? Am I good enough for you? All of those things which are not true. And I help countless and countless of people. I want to talk about some of the people that I just worked with this week and some of the things that have come up during this week and what has been released. So um, the feelings that have come up this week to the surface for this group that I've been working with is not trusting and not trusting, not trusting who? Not trusting the universe, not trusting themselves coming from a place of betrayal. The opposite of trust is betrayal. Feeling betrayed by life, feeling b abandoned, uh, betrayed by God. So not trusting. Fear of expansion. Fear of expansion, expanding. I mean, we're all moving into an outward way of expanding greater and greater into our greater um, capabilities as human beings, as divine humans, as new humans who are fully self-realized, realizing we are not separate from source. We are source. We are 100% embodied, our soul fully embodied. The old human that was controlled and victimized by our thoughts, our ego that kept us small and that said, you're not good enough. These are all the, the lies and limitations that we're transcending now. So, What's really been coming up is communicating our truth in relationships, having these challenging conversations, or 
like somebody I just coached the other day, is absolutely afraid to talk to her partner about what's true for her, caught him in lies and didn't want to didn't want to say anything to him about it because he was continuously cutting her off, cutting her off and being passive aggressive and doesn't want to hear it. So what does one do? Things like that. I mean, don't you want to create your ideal life and your ideal partners and be living your heaven on earth? Well, that time is now. Our new hologram, it's here. It's completely a clean slate. But you have to be the one that has to choose it. You have to choose it. So the, the fears, loss of relationship. I'm afraid I'm going to lose the relationship and then what's going to happen to me? And that's because um, the person still needs to know how to process loss how to process your emotional your emotional health learning how to process your emotions which is my number one thing this is what i teach everybody how to do how to process their emotions i want you to go to corneliastephanie.com and go all the way on the bottom there's a little box and it says uh, are you new to cornelius work and there's everything that's written there is about emotions 101 emotional processing technique um, anger management technique all these gifts are free and even if you email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com i will send you um, links to all of these things and you just have to email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com so I want to go back to the people that I was coaching and mentoring this week so one 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 person who's also a coach and a mentor uh, is shifting huge money beliefs believing that um, a belief that that she had about that she a, a limited belief system that she can't have more than what she's earning right now that she wasn't even in the space of having that millionaire mind and um, opening them opening herself up to um, a, a greater earning capacity why um, why live in a limited way when you can live in an unlimited way which is part of the new earth now so that's one another person being um, giving her power away to um, to her boss uh, taking on that energy, taking on that energy and apologizing for for that because she this is a habit that she's done for a long time. And so now uh, her claiming her power back and realizing I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm going to step up. Um, another person who uh, felt betrayed by her partner felt betrayed by her partner and so and again when 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 I'm sitting across from her and she says uh, I'm I'm feeling betrayed and I'm I'm in that great this is great I'm glad that this is up for you right now because once the betrayal is gone it's really gone it's kind of like this I want to show those of you that are watching and that can see it so your energy field Let's just pretend it's this circle. And if you're not watching, I'm drawing a round circle. And inside that circle, I'm going to draw a dot. And that dot is um, a core wound. And that core wound is an energy of betrayal. And, and that circle is your energy field. And so through your relationships, what's happening is that this person is doing something, you're getting triggered and you're feeling this betrayal wound activated and it's now activated so you can release it once and for all because once and for all, once that betrayal is gone out of your energy field, then it's, it's completely gone. But if you don't uh, work on the, the energy of betrayal, you're always going to be attracting another person that also has that so that you guys can have that interaction because it's all about frequency it's all about energy it's all about vibration but if you do release that 
through feeling and healing, it's gone. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have an energy field where betrayal isn't there because the opposite of the betrayal is trust because you're bringing that trust now into that relationship. You're having that communication and saying, I want trust. I want to build a relationship that's based on trust. I want to trust you. I want to trust myself. I want to trust my creator. I want to trust the universe. So, and then literally it's, it's completely, this is your new foundation. This is your new hologram. This is your new blueprint. So that's why it's really, really important to know how to do emotional processing, what the core wounding is, whether it's not good enough, whether it's betrayal and abandonment, um, whether it's the victim energy, being ashamed of taking your, your full power, your full authority. Because again, like I said earlier, when people work with me, that's what happens, is they move into their full authority. Not because I'm programming them, because I'm not doing that. I'm assisting them because of the work that I've done with myself so that they can move into the truth of who they are. And there's nothing greater than you being the authority of your own life, than you being the one that is now that new human that is able to make choices that um, reflect your true value, your true worth, trusting, feeling safe, creating your uh, life the way that you want to live it, having a uh, work that fulfills you, living healthy, um, living vibrant, feeling like you're thriving in your um, environment. And that's the kind of life that you want to live. And we need those kind of people right now because that's how we're building the new earth. And 2018 is all about building our new earth with collaborative relationships with people that are thriving, with people that are claiming their power, that are claiming their authority, that are speaking their voice. And so for all of the people here on the radio, that if you want to work with me, I'm giving every, I'm, I'm making a special, and this is only limited time simply because I won't be able to do this much longer because I'm going to be um, too busy, but I can do it right now. And that is I'm going to offer uh, somebody that wants to coach with me before coaching sessions for $500 for um, those sessions. And it would be we would meet once a week and I would give you all of the tools and you would also get a one year membership into my daily online portal that assists you with developing a strong spiritual sp practice uh, 10 minutes every morning before you head out the door. And um, so I would include that. So it would be a one year membership. It would be uh, five coaching, four coaching sessions for $500. And my rates are usually $244 an hour. And um, it's absolutely worth it because you're worth it because of the amazing, amazing shift that's going to happen in your life. And that's, that's the other thing I want to talk about. Uh, a testimonial that I just received from somebody this week that I just got yesterday, um, a person that was doing some traveling and she was going to um, overseas, just going to another place, a psychic empath, uh, feeling into the vibration of that place. And she was feeling the negativity that she was going to be coming up towards. And so she asked me, what tricks do you have? I made her a video in the membership, in the online membership. I gave her some tips and things that she can do and um, and then I made her a video, and I just got this this text from her yesterday, and it says, I want to thank you so much for all the counseling you have done with me, and everything is going so well. Uh, because of all of your teaching, I've been able to feel that something was bothering me with that trip, and with your help, I prepared myself for it, and I'm experiencing so much fun far greater than I could have imagined. And so thank you so much. And so I have countless stories like this of people that I work with, somebody that I worked with this week um, also uh, uh, called me and said, um, thank you so much for calling me on calling bullshit on me because it's something that I didn't see. And because my shadow is so exposed right now, it's something that is really raw for me. Thank you so much for calling me on it. So that's the other thing that happens is when people work with me, they step into the truth of their divinity. They're walking with their shadow fully exposed while at the same time stepping in the, into the truth of who they really are because that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm living and I'm able to give that back through the work that I've done so that you can do it too because I'm invested in this planet as are you. We came here to do this and this is why this time right now is such a great time. So 
email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com if you want to take advantage of this offer. I have so much free stuff. I want to send you a 21-day peace practice, a seven-day self-love series. Just email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com. And we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for coming back. You're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show. And today I'm talking about living in the 5D. I'm talking about ascension, soul embodiment, self-realization, and that we're all in that process right now of living heaven on earth. And that, that blueprint, that hologram already exists, and it's just an opportunity for people to really say yes and step into it. And there's there's people that um, are afraid of their own power and of um, having life be easy. Can you believe that? Because we've been so used to having it hard. We've been so used to um, working like, you know, uh, survival of, of all of those core wounds, and this is all part of the past. And so... Um, say yes, make peace with your past. One of the um, other things that I'm offering. So if you if you um, if you want to become a wholeness practitioner and have um, practice living in wholeness, I'm offering a course in um, in May. Uh, May May 6th, and it's an online course with uh, a three-day certification retreat here with me in person um, that completes the course. And so, Carter, if you wouldn't mind bringing that that course up for um, the people that are watching on Facebook. So what the, the course is about, it's their um, online classes, uh, for, uh, six Saturdays, on each Saturday, for six consecutive Saturdays, class one would be about the power of the spoken word. Uh, the power of the spoken word. We speak the world into being with the power of our words. And that is the masculine energy and that is taking action today. So the words that we speak out are um, is the energy that comes back very quickly now because we're living in such a higher vibrational way of living and being and we're, we're taking our physical bodies with us. So the power of the spoken word, very important. Second class is about the power of emotions and to heal the body, healing the core wounds, all of the wounds that I was just talking about in some of the other segments that will be part of the uh, what, what that class is about. Class three is about radical self-healing. It's about the power of emotion and releasing the suppressed feelings in the physical body and, and how that's done and, and then experiencing huge healings and huge shifts in your physical body. Class four, the power to change limiting beliefs. What do you believe? You have the power to heal yourself is a belief. Do you believe that? That's a positive, empowering belief. Class five, working with your shadow. If you're ignoring your shadow and you're not integrating your shadow and loving your shadow, that is actually where the gold lies. Celebrating your awakening to make everything that's um, unconscious conscious and that's working with the shadow, integrating the shadow. Class six is about healing your relationship with money. I was just coaching someone this week, uh, she says to me, I don't hold the value with money as honor. And so if you don't hold the value with money as honor, then how can you be living in a thriving environment when you don't realize um, that money is an energy and that you are absolutely uh, deserving to have the money and um, that money is an elemental that is assisting you to be thriving. And that, that time is now. So shifting your relationship with money. And then and then that's the last class. And then after that, you're going to come to a three-day retreat, putting it all together, all those classes, and then uh, putting it together with um, the entire co course will help you build your new world because we're going to then learn how to 
go deeper into the emotions, go deeper into the limiting beliefs, and you would go home with um, a certification and being a wholeness practitioner, and then you can um, assist and be a positive change of influence in your community. And that whole course is $2,200. It's an absolute steal for the early bird. So be sure to go there and sign up on my website at corneliastephanie.com and look under Evolve and there is a Become a Wholeness Practitioner. It's all there. The other thing that I ask people to do is because I have my online membership. And my online membership is a global online community but we have an interface where um, the same way that we can communicate on Facebook, that way we can do that on in my membership. So there's a tribe. There's a tribe of people. And we come in and we practice. We have practical spirituality in the comfort of your own home so that we can raise our vibration every single day. And everybody contributes and everybody has input. And it's about... It's all about you discovering that you are the authority of your life. You have the power within you to heal your body. You have the power within you to live the life of your dreams. And it's really, you already have it all. You already have it all. It's just you letting go of everything that is not the truth. That is all part of this whole, um, what this ascension is about. That's, that's what's so exciting. It's so exciting when we know how to work with the shadow, when we know how to love the ego free, when we know how to love ourselves so much unconditionally, then we're able to give that out to other people. But first we have to give it to ourselves because you can't give something to somebody that you don't have yourself. And somebody else, you can't um, project that energy out for somebody else to prove you worthy or to love you enough if you haven't loved yourself. And that's what my body of work is about because each person here on earth is an acupunct- acupuncture needle in the body of Mother Earth. And the earth is ascending into a higher vibrational way of living because she also has lived her time here, done with this whole war business. And we are about wisdom, not weapons, and love and unity. So set your compass to your true north and let love be the action and peace be the way. I send you so much love and peace. Have a great day. Thank you for listening.